Hey everyone, this is Nitro. In this video, I'm going to review a Summit the Langrisser match of Season 6 between Yi Chao and Never. So, a bit of background about both players. They're both top tier players. Yi Chao has been top 16 last season in Season 7 of the regular Apex Arena, and Never has hit top 32 multiple times, top 64 a bunch of times, so they're both really really good players. Okay. Um, so in terms of box design, this battle features pretty much identical boxes, but there's three different characters on each side. Yi Chao has Liana in the box, he has Hobo, and he has Landius. So, in the, so three tanks with Hobo and Liana mixed in. On Never's side, he's gone more offensively oriented. There is SP Ulti Muller in the box, there is Ares, and there is Kruger. So those are the differences between the two boxes. So let's look through what happens in the pick ban. Rosenseal ban to make AoE more viable. And then Hilda ban to get rid of the tankiest character on Never's side. So Yi Chao plays Lucretia first. Okay, so Kayura and Lolly just are banned. Never plays Rosenseal to block AoE, which is kind of funny because there's actually not that much AoE in Yi Chao's box from what I can tell. Anyways, um, Never bans Juggler and Lucretia. Helena appears on Yi Chao's side. Well, I guess Rosen Seal would block Helena this way. So what was banned next? Sorry. Um, SP Shuri and Bernhard ban? Okay. And never plays Bernhard. Alright. So Bozel Kruger are eliminated from Never's side. And Yi Chao plays Hilda. A third pick Hilda. Nice. And Hilda would buff up Lucretia and so on. Let's see what happens next. So Florentia and Liana band, the two act again heroes. Never place Kyura, a late pick Kyura, not bad either. Florentia and Ares are eliminated. Yi Chao plays Licorice. Okay, so another character that's buffed by Hilda and acts as a pretty good healer too. Okay. So Hobo Landius band, leaving just Bozo and Juggler. All right. Never, SP Shuri, okay. SP Alt and Lolly Jess removed. Juggler for Yi Chao, and Never plays Licorice. Interesting. You know, there was the option for like a potential late pick, you know, Lolly Jess here, and instead chose SP Shuri. You know, uh, very interesting picks. I looking at this, I favor Yi Chao's characters simply because of Lucretia being there, right? Lucretia being the magic attacker doesn't really have well can eliminate pretty much anyone on Never's side, right? And there is no actual tank against magic on Never's side either, right? So but it could kinda go either way. Let's just see what happens. I mean, the last pick juggler was very interesting. Not what I would have expected facing against what ne never had picked. So, here we go. Although I say that though, I play double tank a lot, right? I play Hilda juggler with, you know, Licorice a lot. So, maybe that really shouldn't be coming from me. But, uh, yeah. Never side has the assassins, right? Kiyura and Shuri. Um, Bernhardt will fashion buff the Empire characters, which is Rosenseal and Licorice. Or sorry, just Rosenseal. Licorice has a dark faction buff, which affects Kiyura, and SP Shuri is going without a faction buff. So, and then similarly, Yi Tao is missing a faction buff for Juggler. Right? I mean, Helena self buffs, Hilda will buff up Lucretia and Licorice. Let's just see how it all works out. Juggler moves forward a little. Okay, Kiyura moves up a little bit. Both sides shifting up minor amounts. There's the faction buff. 
the lever to make Kiyura stronger. Uh, breeze triggered on Lucretia, plus two mobility. So if Arcane Golem moves up, teleport swap, she can move one, two, three, four, five, or whatever, and target Kiyura and eliminate her very easily. Yeah, this is looking bad. <laughs> For, uh, never. Just from that Breeze buff. Now, Helena should actually not have that easy of a time killing Bernhardt, surprisingly. But we'll see. I actually think Helena should be able to one-shot Bernhardt, but you never know. For example, Bernhardt's hegemony can remove the plus 20 or plus 30% attack from Helena, and then the kill would not happen. And then there's also the miracle buff, right? So let's see what happens. So there's the shift forward to strike with Lucretia. There's the shift positions. And then the Arcane Golem suicided. Oh, wow. Well, I wouldn't have expected that, actually. Yeah. How did that all happen? Wait, let's go through this again. Is it all because there's no Twilight Star here? Let's see that again. So, Impure Shockwave. Yeah, there's no Twilight Star. So the Impure Shockwave is smashed. No, wait. Kiyura is Holy Class in the first place. What? I'm confused. I'm actually, I'm honestly a little bit confused that Lucretia failed to kill them. Oh, okay. I think the reason was because he used Impure Shockwave instead of Dark Reaper. Because of Rosen Seal, Rosen Seal providing those four debuff protection. Okay, let's play that again with again. So no debuffs were applied. And then so it was just an attack from someone with 1344 int doing 1.6 times damage, right? So, for whatever reason, Kiyura barely tanked that, but she tanked it with Miracle buff, right? So she survived with the Faction buff and tanking it, and so as a result, yeah. I think, and because of the Forest Terrain too, the extra 20% defense, which also means 20% magic defense. That was interesting to see. I think if it was a Dark Reaper, would have actually died. Because you ignore 30% magic defense. That would have been the difference. Yes, it's only 1.3 times as opposed to 1.6 times, but the one the ignore magic defense part would I think would have led to a kill. At least that's how I think. In any case, so shift positions, wanted to make sure she gets the kill, attacks, and actually kills himself. Unfortunately. Oops. <laughs> Looks like a stat issue. Yeah. In any case, so Yi Chao loses her Lucretia's Arcane Golem for nothing. The terrain, the forest terrain made all the difference there, along with Miracle from Rosen So that was interesting to see. Though. Never seizes an advantage right away. Never continue to hold back. Juggler jump. Or, sorry. Juggler gets hit. And then a retreat. Okay. Didn't try to follow up with a Raging Storm. I guess because there's nobody to kill. Right? Juggler being in water would have tanked it anyways. Right? In Swamp. With the Lobster Behemoth taking 50% decreased damage, I think. So okay, retreat instead of Raging Storm. Fine. Can't say it's wrong. 
An attempt to kill off Helena fails, which is expected, because it would have been Kiyura would have been attacking the angels, with, so the causing 45% magic damage reduction. And then the faceless would be hitting Helena, so just not enough damage to kill. So expected there. So mass heal. Neither side has lost anyone basically, although Yi Chao has lost the Arcane Golem. So there's not that much range on Lucretia right now. Helena moves forward. Helena hits Kiyura. There's the first kill. And the AoE damage is continually being healed by Rosen Seal's um, crystal healing. And there's nothing he uh, never can do to actually kill Helena in this case. I feel like never using up uh, the act again may have caused a little bit of an issue. But Shuri can still launch a stun strike on Helena now. Yep, so there's the kill. Things are kind of interesting. They're both sides are going really aggressive, almost too aggressive. Like I would have retreated Helena away in that kind of situation, but he chose to stay, and so Helena dies. But boom! Juggler jump means Bernhard is dead. Big time move there. Never hovering so far back against the poison led to a situation where Juggler will force Bernhard to die in poison. This battle could still kind of go either way, despite everything. All right, so that move there was another move to that was a little bit interesting. So the attack allowed Shuri to trigger the act again much more, so that Shuri can move forward and attack someone but it's not really worth it in this case. So Lucretia. Launching out her range attack now with three range. She had to have activated Breeze again, didn't she? To do that. Yep. So Scepter, let her attack at three range. RNG aspect there. Healing. Slowly maneuvering forward. Mass crystal healing. Juggler will get to attack one last time before he dies. Be shocked, right? Yep. And rip. <laughs> so it's still three on three. They're on two now. Oh, the knockback. But unfortunately can't block that tile. But it doesn't matter. The knockback has pushed Rosenseal back far enough that she's also gonna burn in poison. So yeah, never loses this because he's his characters have generally been too far back. 
and Yi Xiao has been taking advantage of that to force multiple characters to die in poison. Cool. So Lucretia lives through that purely because SP Shuri has no faction buff, right? 1349 attack left this Lucretia alive. Barely, but it lived. Just once again, it shows how deadly this darn Shadow Raid is. Even with healing beef with the Holy Aegis, Lucretia was nearly dead. Meaning, without the Holy Aegis healing, Lucretia might have actually died, interestingly enough. In any case though, first strike, second strike, Mass heal. Goodbye, Rosen seal. And this is game over for never. Yeah. Losing both Bernhard and Rosen seal to poison. Ouch. Just hanging a little bit too far back. So here, giving up on SP Ulti Muller, throwing in Albedo. Okay. Yi Chao. Kiyura band this time. Rosenseal band. Did they just kind of swap bands? I feel like they did. Let me just get rid of this. So, Lucretia, same kind of start, isn't it? Bozol and SP Cherie have been removed. And Hilda, for never. <laughs> I kind of feel like they kind of swapped. Anyways, so, Florentia and Licorice band. Bernhard for Yi Chao. It really feels like they swapped now. Bernhard <laughs> for Yi Chao, right? Hilda for never. And so the ban here was Florentia and Rosenseal. Okay. There's still Liana for Yi Chao. But both sides have Lucretia. Okay. Kiyura, juggler ban. Licorice for Yi Chao. Juggler, Helena ban. Bozol for never. Kruger, SP Shuri for never. Yi Chao plays Hilda. So Lolly just Liana ban. Ended up not picking Liana at all, choosing to play Licorice as the healer instead. Okay. Um, Ares for never. And then Yi Chao has Hobo or Landius. Probably Hobo in this situation, I would assume. Bernhard with buff up Lucretia and Hilda. Optionally, if Hilda brings faction buff, it would buff up Licorice, and yeah, we'll see how it goes. Interesting, uh, Ares. So that makes Hobo even a, a better pick. So Helena, Lolly Jess, yeah, Hobo, and then never has a choice between Bernhard and Albedo, which is probably going to be Bernhard. Yeah. So looking at this, who has the advantage? Both sides have Bernhard. Both sides have Hilda. Right? Yi Chao has Licorice for the mass protected mass heal. There is actually no healer for never. Right? And there's also Hobo, Sage of the Trees, for Yi Chao. So overall, I'd say Yi Chao has the advantage. On never side, right, there is the 3C, Descent of Chaos Bozal. Bernhard will be the faction buffer. Hilda is bringing War Goddess Crimson Command. Not sure why you bring Domineering Formation, but okay. Um, I would have brought something like either Ram or Routes. And then Lucretia and Ares. Ares being an AoE here. So. Never is kind of running an AoE team overall, right? Bozel, Bernhard, Ares, and as well as Lucretia with Black Hole. Why Chaotic Missa? Of all things. Why not her own, her, you know, well, whatever. She also has the other self-targeting AoE, right? That can apply, cannot receive buffs, and cannot be healed. So, interesting to see that he brought something else. 
So Chao starts with laying down terrain, bringing the two terrain skills to kind of block uh, Ares. It's not like never has no chance. To. Never with the four AoEs can certainly do enough AoE damage to beat each other. It's this is going to come down to how well each side plays this out, for sure. But Yi Chao acts first and gets to launch out a black hole on the enemy team. That's the thing about Lucretia. She can always move so far and then launch out AoEs and so on that it's hard to deal with her. And then with the, after that AoE, she is free to move back a little too. Oh, that might be why the domineering formation was chosen. To clean up terrain tiles. I didn't even think of that one. Huh. But then Hobo does the second wave whisper. Which adds a whole bunch of new terrain tiles. So the double the light array plus wave whisper combo for Sage of the Trees is being big here. Like big time. Right? Bozel can't move at all. Like literally. Same with Ares. Yi Chao's skill pick was all the difference on Hobo The AoE did damage, but it can't kill anyone and or apply cannot be healed effects onto them because Liquors had mass protected already. So that was iffy. Right? The immunity to defense and healing reduction effects. Kicking in there. Cool. And then a mass heal to restore all that health. Ooh, and then Ares just died. Right? From the point, the 20% damage. So getting hit by Save the Trees and Lucretia knocked Ares to the point where the deep, one of the debuffs he got, which was Poison, killed him. If he had triggered Fearless Hurricane, would have lived, right? Because Fearless Hurricane would heal up when you use it. Right, reinforcements. Maybe would have lived, but not using it caused him to die. And then Sword Dance, applying so much more damage, also killing off Lucretia's Arcane Golem. Yeah. Never got out AoE. Completely out AoE. Wow. And it was all the last pick Hobo and the skills on Hobo that really made the final difference. If he didn't, literally, like, if he didn't bring both Wave Whisper and Light Array, Ares could have jumped in. Yeah. So the skill pick on the Sage of the Trees, choosing not to bring the faction buff and instead bringing double. Terrain laying AoEs made a huge difference there. Never putting up the good fight. Launching out more AoEs. It is silencing a lot of characters, but can't kill anyone. And this mass heal mostly restores everyone's health. Problem is, never has no healing whatsoever. So yeah, never concedes. So, 
very interesting battle overall. You know, uh, I enjoyed watching that one. Very interesting. You know, uh, but that's how it goes sometimes. You know, uh, those little minor adjustments made all the difference, especially the selection of Hobo over against Ares and Bozal and never not changing the soldiers, right? If he had changed soldiers to maybe ground-based soldiers on Bozo, Bozo wouldn't be stuck that far back. And Ares had a chance to survive if reinforcements was triggered. But uh, exciting match to watch, that's for sure. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, everyone. Nitro out.